consolidating projects and resources. Now that we've learned how to use project to create and manage projects, we're going to talk about pulling resources, consolidating project plans and assignments so that they can be shared with other projects. Part of successful project management is also time management, and you'll find that these features of project enable you to operate more efficiently, stay more organized, and save time, as well as headaches. In project, a resource pool can mean one of two things. It can be resources that are bundled as a group and assigned to a project, or it can mean a group of resources that are created and made accessible to anyone who has access to your company's server. In this section of the lesson, we're going to focus on the second definition and learn how to create a resource pool that you and others can access. However, before we delve into creating a resource pool, we need to discuss a few terms that you need to know in order to be able to understand how to add or to access resources in the resource pool. The first term is the resource pool project. Resource pool project is the term used for the project that will share or add resources with the pool. If you add resources from your current project to the pool, the project that you use to add resources is the resource pool project. The other term is sharer. A project that accesses and uses resources from the resource pool is the sharer object. Creating a resource pool is very easy and not nearly as complicated as it sounds. You can create a resource pool by using a blank project and adding resources to it. Do this using the resource sheet. Next, save this to a location that those who will use the resources in their own projects can access. You want to save this file as a name everyone will recognize. This is now your resource pool project file. Anyone who can access this file can use the resources in their own projects. These projects that access the pool will be the sharer projects or sharer files. Resource engagements are new to Project 2016 and are only available to you if you're using Project Professional 2016 or Project Pro for Office 365. In addition, you must also be connected to Project Online or Project Server 2016. A resource engagement is an agreement between you and a resource manager that gives you permission to use a resource from a resource pool when that resource has limited availability. This is how it works. When there's an enterprise resource pool, the resource manager can select some resources that must have approval in order to be used within a project. You as the project manager would have to request use of that resource. You would contact the resource manager to gain the permission by sending an engagement request in project. You'll give the dates you'll need the resource, plus a percentage of the resource's time during those dates or the set number of hours for those dates. To send an engagement request, go to the resource tab and click on the add engagement button. If you don't see the button here, it's because you don't meet the criteria for having resource engagements enabled, which we mentioned earlier in this lesson. Once you click on the add engagement button, you can select a resource. Then you'll see a dialog box where you can fill out dates and other information. Then click OK when you're finished. Then go to the resource plan view. Click the engagement that you added, then go to Engagements, Submit, and then Submit Selected Engagements. You'll then see Proposed in the Engagement Status column. This will change to Committed or Rejected when the Resource Manager approves or rejects your request. Now, let's learn how to access resources in a resource pool. Open the resource pool file and the Sharer project. If you have more than one project open, you can change them here on the taskbar. In the Sharer project, go to the Resource tab. Click the Resource Pool drop down arrow, and then select Share Resources. The Share Resources dialog box then appears. Select if you want to use your own resources, or choose the project that you want to share resources from. Next, decide what you want to occur if a conflicting resource setting exists, such as the Resource Base Calendar. If you want your project settings to take precedence, choose Sharer takes precedence. Then click OK.
The resources from your project pool project now appear in your sharer project. If you want to update resource information in the resource pool to reflect changes, such as cost, go to the resource tab. Click the drop down arrow for the resource pool button. Then select refresh resource pool. You can also update assignments and tasks in your sharer file or the project that's sharing files with the resource pool. To do this, go to the view tab. Click the resource usage button and then update the assignments. You can also update time phased, scheduled or actual work by updating the resource usage and task usage views. When you are finished making updates, go to the resource tab. Select update resource pool from this drop down box again. When you disconnect the sharer file from the pool, the sharer file retains all assignments and tasks. However, your sharer file will lose the resources. For this reason, create dummy resources for any resources that you want to keep in your sharer file and copy the resource information. Once you disconnect from the resource file, you can rename the resources. To consolidate projects means to take several projects and combine them into one to create a master project. At this point, all of the projects that you inserted into the master project become sub-projects. Although we've already talked about inserting another project into the current project, we wanted to introduce the topic again as a way to consolidate several projects into one. Let's review how to do it. To consolidate projects, open the project that you want to use as the master project. Then go to the Gantt chart view. Click on a task name. You should click the row below where you want to insert another project. This means a new project will be inserted in the row above where you click. Go to the project tab, then click on sub project button on the left. You'll then see this dialog box. Find the location of the project on your server or computer, then click on it to select it. Then click on the insert button. The sub project is then inserted here.